Thank you, Lars. Thanks. And uh, the Liberetto project, uh, uh, let's call it this way, uh, seems to have found a perfect combination among several elements. Different musical inspiration, different musical personalities. Can you please explain it to us in your words? Yeah, I think the, 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 the project Liberetto is, uh, the music is a mixture between classical music, folk music, and uh, even pop music and uh, jazz music. So it's a fusion between different styles and it's also about uh, music that I have played through the years and her listened to since I was a kid. For a certain time of uh, when I played, I played like standard jazz for a while, I played rock and roll, I played the classical music, uh, but now it took for me some years to find, I think, my own way of making music. And, and it, it's a mixture between, there are so many elements that I... I grew up with uh, music like, uh, my favorite group was Santana, I grew up with, so, so sometimes those elements come in too, where you don't hear it so often. Yeah. And let's talk a little bit about the past. Uh, you started from an orthodox cello, classical education, then moving to double bass and jazz. Uh, which were the motivation for this important step into your current main career? And they are still the same ones, the motivations. I, I, it's the same as when I was young. It's, it's, uh, uh, it's like a, a, a children is playing. That's, uh, I'm searching for new ways of making music. And I grew up, actually I started to play Hammond organ and guitar. Yeah. So I, when I was 12, I played gigs every Friday, Saturday. So that's how I learned to play music. And then cello, I, I, I learned to play in the music school. And I also went, uh, my teacher was an organ player in the church. So I, that's how I learned the church music, the traditional church music, I, I, which I use a lot when I compose and when I'm making music. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and between technique and expression, did you realize when you were creating your personal sound, your peculiar voice through the bass? I think it takes time, experience, a lot of awareness. I think it took, for me, it took uh, a long time. Some people, when they are 18, 19 years old, they have their sound and they sound the same. That was not for me. I think it was very late because uh, I was 20 when I started to play bass <coughs> and that's quite late. So it took time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It takes time, yeah. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> and you had the chance to work also uh, for large ensembles and orchestras. And it is not common to express this way and to prove oneself in this musical dimension. How did you and do you feel in it? You mean compared big orchestras? Working with orchestras yeah. and this. I think it's, it's very challenging and I, I like it. <coughs> but for me, it's very difficult to, to come to the same level as playing in a trio when I write for a symphony orchestra. That's difficult for me. I mean, compo composers in the past, they could do it, and you did it better than, than jazz music. Uh, but, uh, because I think my, one of my strengths is to play in the moment of, of what I hear. Mm -hmm. and, and also I get bored very, Fast. For example, if I write a piece for orchestra, it doesn't matter how satisfied I am with it, I would like to change it. So, so the interplay inside a small ensemble is much more uh, challenging, it's much more vivid than the yeah, monument of, me, a, of a large orchestra. For me it's easier in a small ensemble yeah. to get my expression. Yeah. And, uh, 
do you have a compositional method? Uh, it is involving the participation of other fellow musicians. Your compositional method is involving no, I, participation. I think the, the, the best for me to compose is in the morning at the, the piano at, at, uh, or the guitar. It's very seldom I compose cello. Or bass. It's not mostly on piano. Uh, piano is, is a big companion for yeah. composers yeah. normally. Yeah. And, and among your sources of inspiration, I think you can quote traditional and popular music themes, and classical too, obviously. Fresh air from the past, am I right? Are they always your musical interests? Classical and folk tunes. I think so. I, I think it's it's a combination of music that I like and what I have listened to. I think that is uh, what I use when I compose. And, and sometimes I decide because sometimes I get tired of the way I compose, mm -hmm. so I try to do something else. And after a while, I, I hear it's not me. So, so then I have to. So it, it's a balance. Yeah. It's a long work in progress. Yeah, it is. It is. We will hear for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, oh, thank Lars. You. Thanks a lot. Thank you.